Alright, what's going on? This your boy Yusuf Hood, man. Just hitting y'all up straight from my little studio, man. Yeah, I'm just uh, hollering at y'all about little issues I see going on around the world. But I want to thank y'all for supporting the movie Killer Rapper. It's been out for about maybe a month and a half now. It's available at hoodfilms.com. Or you can just check it out at the, uh, at the um, yeah, my website, hoodfilms.com. That's pretty much the only place you can see it. It'll be on Amazon Prime probably in about about 30 days or something like that. So we're just looking forward to that happening. When that happens, I'm going to let y'all know. I've been doing some advertising about the movie, making some little videos and stuff like that, little little ads, and then I put them up on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, all that stuff. If you follow me, you've been seeing that. If not, you need to follow me because it's hot. And I got the trailer on here too, so if you look at a few videos back, you can see the trailer to the movie. It's called Killer Rapper. It's dope. It's about a, a reporter who uh, is investigating the murder of a, a famous rapper. But then as he starts the investigation, his life started becoming on the line, and uh, he got to try to get out the mess. So it's a dope-ass movie. It's about an hour long. Y'all should check it out, man. You know, uh, one major issue that has been going around recently, and you can see my mustache real crazy, my beard, obviously, we're still under quarantine in America. People's got to sit it out. They're saying it's going to be something like July, something like that. So it's been a, a process, and then y'all can see uh, the videos I've been putting up about me hustling out there on the streets, producing music and movies, and then promoting it to tourists that come to Chicago, which has been a dope thing, which I took the money and produced this movie, Killer Rapper, and I'm gonna try to do more movies in the future. You'll be seeing that. Obviously, we did older movies that you can see uh, somewhere. We got some on YouTube. We got some, um, actually, none is on the website right now, but you could definitely see Killer Rapper. Our newest project is up on the website. I want y'all to check that out. So, uh, it's a lot of people have been making a lot of posts on my Facebook page about um, this situation with Joe Biden. And I just want to take and put my two cents on it. You know, in my movie, Killer Rapper, if you finish it, you can see that I do do kind of like political conspiracy theory type films too. And that's kind of like the movie that this one is. It's a thriller, it's action, but it's like a conspiracy slash, uh, yeah, conspiracy theory type movie. So, you know, that's why I thought, that's how I shot that one. but. When you see somebody like a millionaire, billionaire like these people uh, who actually are in power, they senators, they people that you're supposed to vote for for president or mayors, it do kind of make you feel kind of funny when they come and start drawing down on you and saying kind of wicked or wild stuff, you know, because at the end of the day, we all supposed to be humans. And just because you got this title, that don't allow you to say nothing out of pocket to me, because at the end of the day, if I say something out of pocket to you, you're going to get offended. You're going to feel like, oh, this black person's looking at me foul. He's talking to me, making me feel uncomfortable. A lot of guys get shot on the streets by the police because a lot of times they make the police feel quote unquote scared. And you know that that's some bullshit, but they not from the hood. They live in these suburban areas and they get these jobs in a May city and they come around there with their biases and next thing you know somebody did over reaching for a bag or just yanked out the car just being aggressive they even do this to little kids so it's like it's not an abnormal thing for them to go too far and so for somebody to go too far who we supposed to be supporting and looking at as a presidential candidate and we black people then you just gonna come out of pocket and be like you ain't black if you don't support me you ain't said that to the Mexican community who is dealing with DACA, who's being kicked out of America. You ain't never said that to them. You ain't Mexican if you don't believe in me. You don't support me. You ain't never said that to white people or Jewish people. You know not to say that to the Jewish community because they go in on you and you know that. So the reason why people talk like that to us is because it's conditioned in America that we're someone you can pick on. We somebody who you can appropriate. We somebody who you can disrespect. And that's even sometimes in our own race. And that's a lot of times what the most some of the racist people say, oh man, you know, you could do that because black people do it. You could say that because black people say it and to each other. So it's like a lot of this trying to okay behavior that you know is still foul and it's still aggressive and it's still, it's still not right. So for somebody to say that and then turn around and be like, yeah, come vote for me. This is a person that's taking you for granted. This is a person that don't believe in what your value is. And beyond just saying in that, in, in that interview with Charlemagne, Joe Biden, for the people that don't know, Joe Biden had an interview with Charlemagne and a few, about two days ago, and he eventually said uh, that uh, you're not black if you don't vote for me. And he thought it was a joke because that's, again, a person who's not around our community, somebody who don't dwell in our 
around us. He might have had a black friend, 14 black friends, but he don't really know black people. He's not around black people, and most white people are not. But you feel like you can say something off the cuff like that instead of saying the most important things, which is what the interview should have been about. Here's how I'm going to try to help black people in their in in culture. Here I'm going to try to help black people in their community. Here I'm, this is what you're going to get for your vote. Everybody know that a vote is quip quo pro. So if you're not using those actual things to tell us how you're going to help our community with specificities, then you on bullshit. And it's not trying to sit up here and try to say, oh, Trump is worse. Who the fuck cares? Both these motherfuckers just said they ain't finna do shit for us. So it don't matter who you vote for. It don't matter if this one more crazy. And if you go back in Biden's history, he one of the most racist motherfuckers you could find. He had the 94 crime bill where he sat up there and made $30 billion go into the law enforcement community and the judicial community where it was to sit up there and lock up a lot of black people from 94 on back. Hundreds and hundreds and thousands of black people, even some people say millions, went to prison in and out going to jail because of these bills. And then after they did the research 30 years later, only 1% change in crime. So that's like a lot of people that are affected in our community. So it's okay to, for that to happen. Oh, that was back in the day, that's okay. But this is what people try to expect you to think and okay, be okay with just to rock with him. And then the, 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 the cloak is that, oh, he was Obama friend. Yeah, okay, big deal. It's a lot of black people that got white friends that's racist. It's people that's racist that's not all that fucking bad of a person. They just racist motherfucking people. But you could communicate with them. You could say hi. You could talk to them for a minute. As long as you ain't got to go fucking be in their neighborhood at 949 at night or 3 a.m., you okay. But why would you block me? Damn, she just blocked me, y'all. I knocked. If you didn't want to, if you could have put a finger up, if you didn't want to interrupt, that's why. This is why you don't get married because they think it's okay, and then she start cussing you out after she block you. I, anyway, what out. what do you need? Let's have what? viewers vote because that wasn't a curse out. All right, guys. So this is what I, okay. I have 22 years with this lady, and this is what it is. And I wasn't gonna edit this. This is going straight out to the world. What you need? No, I don't forget because you threw me all off. <laughs> Oh, I know. I'm going to close this door because I think the humidity is coming in here and making it too humid in here. So I'm just going to close the door. Now, if you are there in this world, could she have just not closed that door or did she have to go into that whole point? <laughs> anyway, I don't even remember my talk or what I was talking about. But I just want y'all to see it from that perspective and at least just understand where I'm coming from. I'm not saying that Biden is worse than Trump. I'm not saying that Biden not going to win, but I'm saying that if he hasn't laid out specific things that's going to help our community and not just the people of color like they like to say, but the actual black community, people who were descendants of slaves, people who've been living in America for 400 plus years before the other nationalities got here, then it's fake. Then he's not going to do nothing. Then in the next four years, our community is going to stay the same. Every way it's going to be the way it was, and it's just going to be a waste of time. And they're going to still be successful. They're going to still be who they are. They're going to go down in history. They're going to be whoever they are. And we're going to be looking at each other still saying, man, our community's messed up. Man, it's so much murder. It's so much drug dealing. It's so much gangbang. It's so much poverty. It's so much no no homes. And then, then they'll pop out another either or this pandemic or some other thing that we can't see now. Oh, the Martians came, and they over here in this area. You can't get there. But there's a lot of them, so y'all stay in the house. Matter of fact, go in the basement. We sitting back like, what? Oh, okay. My whole point to you is that it's not to say that that guy can't win it. It's to say again, what are you going to do specifically for African-American community and especially people who are asking you? Like uh, some people just want to vote. They just want to be a part of the Democratic uh, way and the Republican way. They just want to be a part. And there's nothing wrong with that. They just want to be down with that whole thing. And then there's some people that's like, hey, Yo, why we keep voting for you and we ain't nothing changing? Like, it's more, it's my kids need change. You know what I'm saying? What about their kids? Like, you're not gonna even set up nothing so that in the future, something could happen. It was all these people going crazy a couple of months ago. Hey, dogs, hey, man, uh, we want reparations. What about reparations? What about reparations? They get right on the Breakfast Club, which is the, the radio station, Charlemagne the God again. Uh, what's the lady name? Um, you know who I'm talking about. She ran. She's Kamala Harris. She say, I ain't doing nothing specifically for black people. She didn't have no uncomfort saying that because she's not African-American. She's Jamaican and, and Indian-American. So that's different. So then they go get uh, the white guy, uh, Bernie Sanders. What you think about reparations? I'm not doing nothing for reparations. 
Now, I don't mind sitting back studying it, sitting back, and we could talk about it, get a committee together and discuss it, but I'm not on that. Then you wonder why these people couldn't go further in their race. You, tell, you telling a person directly to their face, I ain't doing nothing for you. But then you saying, hey, come on, let's vote, be part of this. So then they get another guy up there. Whoever this dude is, this is Joe Biden. So, okay, thank you. So then um, you get Joe Biden. So Joe Biden jump in there. Hey, you ain't black if you don't vote for me. Now, of course it's a joke. Of course it's a joke. But again, did he lay out any plan? Did he lay out something that you, even one thing, one thing, one thing. No, zilch. So then you can look for it again to zilch. So that's all I'm saying. So now he becomes the president, nothing happens in four years, here come again. Hey, y'all need to vote again. Y'all come on, don't let him down. Don't let him down. Boom. So we just continue the process and that's why.